All right, it's going to be interesting to see what they actually put into the game. It's going to be interesting to see what there is in the game because obviously um, we have a couple of free cards. The set, oof, that's expensive. That's exp Especially for what this set is. Like, it is a wild amount to spend. Like, again, 70 quid. Like, I more than make the money back. So I just, from like a personal... From a personal standpoint, like, I'm going to buy it, but it's just not worth it. Oh, my God. I logged in every day. That's the first time I think this year I've logged in every day. I'm not going to lie. So, let's see what there is in the pack market. Someone lied and said there was an equal chance in the pack market. There's still no pink diamonds in these. Like, why not? One guaranteed pink diamond. What's wrong with that? What's like back when diamonds were 250k, we saw one guaranteed diamond. To get one deluxe pack, someone said the agendas are bad, are they? 53 pointers of pink diamond players. No way. Oh my god. For a deluxe pack. Oh my god. That's more like that's literally what that used to get you back in the back like literally before Christmas. Getting a hundred assists, a hundred points to paint, 53 pointers. Something that would take that long would get you an a ruby, an amethyst, and a diamond card back before Christmas. That's awful. Oh my god. I can only own I'm on, I'm scared about how bad Cedric Sabalos is gonna be. I'm scared. No, he's not bad at all. Okay, these aren't bad. At least you're looking at a, a pretty decent... A pretty decent card here in um, Fred Jones. You're looking at someone pretty decent in him. So... Or not Fred Jones, Cedric Sabalos. At least Sabalos is easy. At least Sabalos is easy. Like, that's a positive. Like, that's so wild. That is so wild. Nothing really in the pack market at all. Um, check challenges, I guess. There could be something in challenges. Spotlights. Let's see what the spotlight. There's no spotlight. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I, I'm wrong, surely. Am I? That there's no spotlights for this. I can't be right. wrong, right, can I? I'm missing something, am I? I'm definitely missing something. No, there we go. Seismic. Good. This isn't actually a easy, that easy challenge to do. 15. 15. Win the game to 21 points and block one shot. Easy. Score 30 points. Team. Okay, okay. This is easy. Like, this is legitimately 15 minutes. So, like, as annoying as it is to get a deluxe pack in the other way, the spotlights are okay. You're going to get an easy deluxe pack in the spotlights. Um, A really easy deluxe pack in the spotlights. So, you're going to be getting a nice card. And the Amethysts are all really, really good. So, I don't really mind that one too much. Let's check the player market prices. Um... 157, I know we've already seen it, but 157 is wild for Jonathan Isaac. Like, I would say, as I've already said, the the Amethysts are all pretty good. They're all pretty good, but... And it's actually... The one negative, by the way, of no lock-ins is that the sets cost more. The sets not getting a lock-in has added 100k VC because you're paying an extra 100k. So, like, the no lock-ins has actually made it more expensive to get all the cards. To get the cards. Which is wild. Like, it's added an extra 100k. Like, when Banyama was a lot cheaper than this. Like, 300k a week is a freaking wild price to pay. It is a wild price to pay. Like, I know I'm going to make the money back. So I'm going to do it. But still. Apparently, the un there's no way the unlimited ring, right? 
Where is the unlimited rings for your season agendas? Season one super pack. No way. Season one super pack. You have to win four unlimited games out of seven to get a season one super pack. Season one. I know you can get a KD or a freaking, I don't know. That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh, that's horrific. That's absolutely horrific. But uh, yeah, um, I'm not necessarily happy with this either. Like these, if you're trying to grind the game, ooh, you're getting, the spotlights are good. The, the spotlights are good. The thing is good. Uh, Fred Jones, or not Fred Jones, Sabalos is good. I'm going to be honest, going and getting yourself a Cedric Sabalos is going to be a pretty decent card. If you can play at the shooting guards, um, you could be okay. But like, these are bad pack drops. I just really want to stress that. Like, like I'm literally doing this for content. I'm doing this for content because I'll make a lot more doing gameplays of him, 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 and him than I will for buying that set. But it's somewhat close, I guess. But yeah, I'm quite disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I am quite disappointed in these cards right here. I really don't think they are the greatest. But at the same time, at the same time, this is all right. And the good thing is that, like, the cards I'm excited for the Amethyst. The cards that you should be excited for today are, if you guys don't know, this guy here. Where's Anthony Black? Him. Uh, where's Amethyst? Him. And... I think it's small forward. Him. Like, these are the guys... You should be look. You should be like excited for these three. So that's the one positive thing is you're getting pretty much gonna be getting one of these guys for free. You're gonna be getting one of these dudes for free who are like absolutely just elite as cards. So like, if you're looking at Anthony Black, tall point guard, gonna drill pretty well with a nice jump shot. When you've got um, Peyton Watson, six seven, super quick jump shot, especially off the catch. And the thing with Peyton Watson is Jordan dribble style, release on quick, all the badges, plays elite defense and is big. And Taylor Hendricks is literally just six foot nine strawder, basically. Like, that is one of the most chicken releases in the entire game. He's basically six nine Julian Strader. So I'm not gonna complain about those guys. So at least you're gonna be getting a pretty nice free card for doing the challenges. That's really all there is gonna be today. All right, lads. Who's online? Splash is online. Let's raid Splash. 